But we were not joking before. Wolf caught the movie. It is the real deal. Not only do we have the director, Lowell Dean, joining us, we have Wolf Cop himself on the couch. Good morning to you both. Good morning. This might be a bad idea having him here. I'm just saying. Anger management issues clearly with Wolf Cop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he doesn't uh, really do morning shows, so uh, you've been warned, I guess. This so. is a new thing. Lowell, I mean, this is impressive. You come up with this concept to make this movie, you get the funding, and then it has a big splash over the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, yeah, that's, that's intimidation right there. How did this all come together? I, it's been like a long, I like to describe it as a bloody fairy tale, basically. Uh, we had the idea, I, I wrote a script a couple years ago. Uh, my team in Saskatchewan, uh, a local production company, Echolands Creative, I partnered with them and we entered our trailer, we did a concept trailer, into the Cineku Accelerator. And uh, we were lucky enough to, you know, after three months of a Canadian Idol-like competition, be selected for production. And the best part was the guarantee of release in Cineplex theaters. And uh, the detail, we got to get a close up here on Wolf Cop, who is here on the couch for the makeup and design that goes in. How did you guys pull off the special effects for this movie? Uh, it's an effects artist named Emerson Ziffel out of uh, Saskatchewan, and uh, Wait, he Wolf basically Cop, birthed him. Wolf Cop, look straight into the camera over here for your close up, okay? Yeah, so Emerson uh, designed the look of Wolf Cop and uh, it takes a few hours to pull together, uh, even more so if uh, Leo is angry or in a bad mood. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can, you can see the, the joy of practical effects is you can look at it up close and uh, he looks really good. Clearly no dental benefits on set for this one, unfortunately. No, I mean, Budget you know, contacts. budgetary constraints. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of helps with the characters. See yeah. how that works. Yeah. So in terms of story, I mean, I always hear if you want to sell a movie, go with the horror genre. Yes. What kind of story do you guys have? because I heard the, the sequel for Wolf Cop got greenlit before e even the release happened. I know, it's crazy. It's uh, unheard of, but basically it's like you said, uh, horror is a great genre to get into with films and uh, especially starting out, people usually say who's in the movie, you know? So if you don't have a big star, sometimes it's better to go with a genre that people just embrace naturally and uh, our star is Wolf Cop. And you guys have a love-hate relationship together? How does this work between you two? You're the director here, and Wolf yeah, Cop's got to pay attention. I'd call it more of a, like, a fear-discipline relationship, <laughs> you know? So, uh, we do what we can. We try and uh, stay close, but usually he's not this close, mm -hmm. so, yeah. And when can people check out this movie? This Friday, June 6th, we're going to be in Vancouver. So we're going to be in pl uh, playing in a few theaters. We're in Saskatchewan, and we're in Alberta, and we're in BC. So uh, we're hoping people will come out and check it out. Okay, congratulations to you, Wolf Cop. Thanks for being here this morning. Okay. All right. Might need a breath mint there, Wolf Cop. You can smell that over here. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that, Lowell. He's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Don, we're going to go back over to the live eye. Hey, Wolf Cop, make sure you go say uh, bye to Jody on no, your way out, okay? Bye to Jody. Good, no, I'm good. <laughs>